A couple of days ago I received a set of um, water brushes from the company Arteza and uh, I'm very grateful for them um, that they sent these brushes to me because I have been wanting to try them for a long time. So this is a first impression video about the Arteza brushes. Well, as you can see, it's not completely the first, um, the first impression because this brush already has a little bit of color and that happens when you start using them because the unused brush looks like this. So in this set of four brushes, you have a small, a medium and a large brush. And um, I'm going to try the medium one first. That's this one. And I'm going to try them in painterly days. Painterly Days is a great, great watercoloring book uh, um, and I use it very often just to try new things. And I'm going to use my wonderful Schmincke sets. Ooh, great, great paint. So I'm starting with this flower and let's add a touch of magenta. I'm picking up magenta, squeezing the brush. Ooh, and I can already tell you, when you squeeze the brush, a lot of water comes out. More than with the other brushes that I have. So that is something to keep in mind. This video is not a review, it's a first impression because I have learned that you cannot judge art materials on their first impression. And sometimes you judge them um, too, too low, you grade them too low when you do that, the first impression and other times you grade them too high and with these brushes I have several uh, brands of brushes and some of them they they keep performing great for a long period of time and others wear down quite fast so I will use these brushes for a couple of months and then I can tell you what their quality is but so far what I'm doing right now this feels really really good and I'm happy about one thing I have one brush from another company that squeezes the water from the barrel through the hairs of the brush. That's the only way to, you can squeeze out the water directly through the hairs of the brush. But the problem is when you uh, stop squeezing, the brush will suck up oxygen uh, air it sucks up air and with that it pulls the color that is in the brush back into the barrel and after a period of time your paint ends up in your barrel so you won't have clean water and that is very annoying the other brands that i have they have just like this arteza uh, brush the water comes here from the side of the brush 
that is much much better because then you will never contaminate uh, the inside of your barrel with uh, with your paint with residue of your paint that one brush that does it wrongly in my opinion that pulls the paint into the barrel I never use it because of that because it's just it's just not working here I have a orange I will let you see that when I squeeze there comes a drop I really have to be very careful squeezing This works really great. Just this Arteza brush feels like a good quality water brush. Arteza has two types of water brushes, as far as I know, this one and another one with a different, uh, here you have to brush, uh, to squeeze over here and with the other one you have to squeeze lower and there is a red, I believe they are red, red uh, area where you have to squeeze it. They, the other ones work like the Karandash uh, brushes. I have those two. I have the Kar Karandash. I don't have the Arteza Karandash-like brushes. So as you can see, the water is working. It's magic. Let's add a little bit of color here. And I think I'm going for a dark tone, a dark brown. Now I have to be careful because when I come too close to the borders and this is all wet, things will start to flow. So let's do it like that. Now let's add a little bit of green, picking up green right now. This all works very nicely. I'm most interested in what the tip of the brush will do um, over a period of time because I have brushes that lose the tip and that's very annoying and I have other brushes that have still have a perfect tip after using them for a long time so I hope this one will keep this pointy tip that would be good, but that I only can find out um, after using them a lot. So from now on I'm going to use these a lot. Let's pick up some extra, a little bit of yellow just to see what happens. And a darker green, why not? Just. Okay, I will switch to the large brush, it's this one, look this is the difference, 
let's see how that one works. And I'm going to add a little bit of blue here, but first I will add water. So I'm squeezing the brush, water comes out. And I'm going to distribute the water a little bit. And let's add some blue. How about cerulean? Ooh, that is very bright. That is not the color that I... <laughs> uh, no, no, no. Not that one. Let's go for ultramarine. I think that is much better. I will pick this up and let's go for ultramarine. I love blue flowers. I love everything that's blue. Blue is my favorite color. I hope there will be a manufacturer of brushes that will work together with a manufacturer of these water brushes so they will eventually make a brush like this but then with um, real hairs that that would be the ultimate water brush to me because these water brushes, I hardly use my uh, conventional brushes anymore. And I have a couple of very, very beautiful brushes, very good brushes. But um, this system with the water already inside, it is such a good idea. So I hardly ever use the other, others anymore. Let's pick a little bit of magenta. And let's pick a touch of orange. Now I'm picking up the excess amount of paint. And some dark brown for the for the center piece, the center of the flower. Well, okay. Well, I've been using them for 14, 15 minutes right now. And so far, they've, it feels very good. 
let's try the smaller one and this one it has fewer hairs the length is the same almost the same as the medium one but there are less hairs so well let's see let's try this leaf here I'm squeezing first to get the water out I can see it coming oh, there's a droplet Let's pick up a touch of green. And a touch of ochre. And let's give a little bit of color to this beautiful flower as well. Um, let's try a touch of purple with a very light touch. Look at that. little bit more we have a little bit of a uh, flow here but actually I like it I must say this brush it gives a lot of a lot of drops of water fall out here there fell one here but it doesn't moisten is that moisten is that English it doesn't moisten the brush that much so it looks like there's a little bit of a problem with this smallest brush but I really should use it more often to see whether this is actually a problem or not let's pick up a little bit of yellow here so well so that's the small one the medium one and the large the large one so far so good I will get back to you in a while and that could take weeks to months because I really want to use these brushes to see how they work I'm very happy about this one, about that one, but this one I'm not sure. I feel the amount of water that comes out is too much compared to the brush, to the, 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 yeah, the thickness of the brush. And I have that same problem with another brand, so that could be just, there could be a connection between the amount of water and the 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 size of the brush but the others I think are okay they have a great price I don't know the exact price right now but I will put a link in the description of the video so you can uh, see for yourself and if you use the links I will get a little bit of commission from the Arteza shop so you help passion for pencils to uh, keep up the good work if you buy via one of these links 
So this is it for now. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, see you in a next video. Bye bye.